All right, today we are gonna turn this Raspberry Pi Zero into a Nintendo Entertainment System. This was four dollars. This was one dollar. You may have heard the hottest new holiday toy is the Nintendo Entertainment System. It's got 30 games and you can't find it anywhere. It's impossible to find, Nintendo made 10 of them. Anyways, using the Raspberry Pi computer loaded with the RetroPie software, loaded with your Nintendo ROMs, we are able to basically play any game we want. Copyright notice, you must own every game you play on this. We saw a how-to make online by a guy named Zach, and he put it in one of these. Of course, you could make any case. You could actually use this as your case, right? So we're gonna pop this open. We're gonna put this in here. We're gonna hook up some controllers. What you need is, this is the case. This is what you're gonna put it in. We got Jack Nicholas Golf, right here, half price books, a buck 99. You definitely need your Raspberry Pi. You need a controller, HDMI cable to hook it up to your television, the USB cable to hook up your gamepad, and the power adapter so you can plug it in because it needs electricity. We got our security bit tools. These are specifically made to open up the. We also got another controller. Smoothie. USB hub. Sure, it's probably cost a nickel for them to make. You could just build it. Oh, you need an SD card. Is we need to open this up. Carefully unscrew these. Comes right out. There is a Nintendo game. You do not need this anymore. There's this little gate here. So, you know, the ports can't necessarily show through. So we're gonna have to get rid of this gate. All right, we're gonna cut this with an X-Acto knife. And then you might need some pliers if the knife isn't too sharp. And then we're gonna glue the USB hub in. Run some glue along the edges here. And then we're gonna glue in the HDMI cable. Push it down tight. Then we're gonna pop in the Raspberry Pi and find a place in here. Glue it down. And this is your power and USB. So let's plug the hub in. And then let's plug the power in. And then we're gonna glue the power cable out. We're gonna put all the wires in and we're gonna squeeze it down. Push hard, harder, hardest. And then take the security screws, we're gonna tighten those back up. And there you go. So we're set. It's perfect, we tried it out. As you can see, I did make one change. I hardwired the AC adapter into the cartridge. That way there's no way you can forget this. It's an easy change to make. As you can see in the video, it just ran right into the board. This way you'll never forget the power adapter. All that's left is to plug this into your television. We have right here an HDMI cord that's going over to our television. This gets plugged into the wall. We're gonna plug in both game pads. If you want to see a more in-depth video about how to actually get the games and the RetroPie software onto the Raspberry Pi, I've made that a separate video which I'll be posting. So that's it. If you have any questions, make sure to post them below. I hope this video helped you out. Let me know and I will see you soon. Thanks for stopping. I really appreciate your time.